Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com, who's Loy Macedo, think personal branding. Okay. Um, Today, after my main client, that big project which I have been telling you about, because of which I have limited to one video a day, um, I happened to get another client uh, who wanted a session with me. And obviously, he was uh, very concerned and uh, he asked me specifically that he wanted the identity of uh, the people involved to be confidential. I did ask him, can I share the example and incident? He said, go ahead, but no identities. Uh, you know, nobody should be able to know who I am or who I'm talking about. Okay. Long story short, his son, his son who is a, a rank holder, rank holder in his college, who has been awarded multiple number of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, college scholarships, a uh, top level athlete. This guy, everything working, Everything working out well for him. His father has literally has all the money, everything ready for him, for him to complete up to his PhD if required. His father really loves him. However, very sad to say, he has decided not to pursue his education. He has just finished his, you know, uh, high school. He doesn't want to do his degree. He doesn't want to do his master's. He doesn't want to do a PhD. And mind you. This is a guy who is the number one in his entire college, number one in his entire whatever. Okay. <clears throat> and he has a bright future. Absolutely bright. His, I uh, saw some of his photographs, videos, amazing physique, amazing looks, amazing everything. Now, the question is, why does he not want to complete his education? He doesn't want to do it because he wants to be on social media. He wants to be on Instagram, he wants to be on YouTube, he wants to be on Facebook. And obviously, because he's a good looking guy, he has lots of females who chase him, lots of guys who want to be his friend, and obviously because he's well to do. The father, a man who's very wise, he, uh, <clears throat> he has told his son, listen, please don't do this, you know, don't, don't give up. A career where you can be a doctor, you can be a scientist, anything in the world, I am ready to sponsor you. You can go to any country in the world, United States, New Zealand, Australia, five-star education, all expenses paid, just complete your PhD, stabilize. Okay, his father is pretty well to do. But his son has decided, no, you know, all that bullshit that is there on online. Uh, this guy dropped out of college. And Elon Musk said, oh, what's the use of an MBA? He has been brainwashed with all this nonsense. Okay. And uh, lo and behold, uh, the father out of desperation went to psychologists, psychiatrists, counselors. And finally, that is where he bumped into my channel. <clears throat> and uh, uh, it's, it's a work in progress. Uh, I'm, I'm still speaking to the father. Obviously, I'll have to speak to the son. Okay. His son doesn't know anything about me. His father did. Okay. So now, I'm making this video so that maybe later on when the father feels it's the right time to show it to him, he will show it to him, okay? And I'm also making this video so that if you are on social media or you're thinking of a career on social media or you are addicted to social media, you must watch this video, okay? Now, to make this video really worth it, I have written down all my points. Uh, I've, I've really spent a lot of time trying to get my thoughts into this paper because I wanted this to be really something of value. So listen to it. Take your time. You don't have to watch this as one go. Listen to it and do take down notes. I request you take down notes. This is not for me to get maximum number of views and all that. Yes, views do matter, but I want it to benefit you. And I want you to see the content, listen to the content, and then decide whether it is really helpful or not. Okay, <clears throat> let's start.
um, and yes you can post your questions down below I'll be more more than happy to answer them and remember this is coming from a guy who makes a living on social media agreed I'm not one of those Jake Paul or um, you know a PewDiePie who's making <clears throat> 10 million per video or you know I'm not one of those uh, global superstars like you know I have 100 million uh, followers and I'm making <clears throat> uh, sponsors are pay me uh, like fifty thousand dollars like they'll pay Kim Kardashian hundred thousand dollars per post no I'm a simple normal everyday average guy just like you you and me we are on the same boat the chances that you would be an Elon Musk Oprah Jeff Bezos Arnold Schwarzenegger it's not gonna happen listen if you're watching this video Chance is not going to happen. Trust me. You're going to be successful. You're going to make money. But you're not going to be an Oprah. You're not going to be Ronald Reagan. You're not going to be Einstein. You're not going to be a legend of one in a billion or one in a generation. Because if you were, you wouldn't be watching this video. Okay? Because successful people don't have time to watch all this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say. You think Elon Musk sits and watches my videos? You think Oprah sits and watches, oh, YouTube, oh, let me take uh, advice from Gary Vee on how to succeed? No, this is normal people like us. We are on YouTube and we communicate. Okay, so I, I like to keep it real. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, now, <clears throat> so let's move on with the content. The first one is, okay, I'll give you a couple of examples. Now, <clears throat> I've changed their names. Consider this. This guy, his name is Satish. Okay, this guy's name is Satish. Real life, real life person. I've met him. He has met me a couple of times. This was in Dubai. Okay, the guy was absolutely lost. He didn't know what he wanted to do in life. He didn't have a job. He was literally trying anything and he used to even work for free. He used to work as a driver. He used to work as a, uh, you know, mobile technician. Sometimes he used to work as a software guy. So odd jobs, but he was you know, his life was in trouble in UAE. He desperately wanted a job. He was on a visit visa. Came to me, those days I was more affordable. Uh, today I'm pretty expensive. So because I was also starting my career. He took my sessions. And uh, lo and behold, made a proper CV. Okay. So he went, tried, got a job. Now, after getting a job, he thanked me. Okay, fine. Everything was fair. I was very happy. He was happy. He didn't get a great job. He just got, you could say, a thousand dollars a month working as a technician, uh, uh, you know, uh, for mobile phones and computer parts and all that. Okay. One fine day, however, something really bizarre and strange happened. I get a, you know, on Facebook, you get this business page or Facebook uh, page recommendation. He sends me a, a Facebook page asking That's not oh my sorry uh, that samsung phone was talking okay uh, it's not siri yeah um, so he sent me a business page and uh, lo and behold lo and behold this guy he has i was those days loy mesido personal branding strategist now remember i told you this is a young man uh, his age was i think 20 21 and he, I helped him get a job as a technician. He created a business page, like I created personal branding strategist. He created business branding consultant. Business branding consultant. Okay, this guy whose name we'll consider as Satish. And I was like, what the hell is he? What is he doing? I checked his page and lo and behold, he has put a video standing next to a wall and with the iPhone. Hello there, friends. Um, you know, I'm Satish, I'm, you know, whatever name, okay, I'm a business branding coach, you want to take your business to the next level, you want to make money, okay, I'm going to give you free advice, contact me, put your email down below, whatever stuff. Let that sink in. A guy with no proper work experience, who has never started his life, who is nothing, just started a job within, I think, one or within three months, becomes a business branding consultant and before you know it he not only stopped at that he created a website he got someone to make a cheap website because he was into IT someone they had a barter exchange or something and then LinkedIn he puts himself as seven figure income coach or something like that and everywhere he was putting all this and I thought the madness would finish up there I was more like let him do what he wants I got my money I did my job okay whatever and I didn't join his page. Next thing I know, 
imagine help him get a job through my services whatever he resigns from the job he takes his own visa and now he's a full time coach and when he sends me he sent me a message and oh lord i did it i became a coach and he said my dear um, did you how many clients you have oh lord there are so many people say i'm amazing i'm fantastic or oh, they want my services yeah but how much money did you make yeah lord i'm making money how much i'm asking you spe- lord i made some you know like 1000 2000 this month and next month i have advance booking he was just trying to convince me that he is full time into this i don't know who gave him the push and why he decided or whatever i think uh, maybe on the conviction of somebody to go ahead with the visa or whatever he finally went ahead okay for me i don't have time for all this i i you pay me i give you advice unsolicited advice i realized was no use i tried to tell him he didn't listen lo and behold fine we decided i was like whatever you want to do just do just leave me out of it finally uh, i think it was i from dubai came here i think a total of 8 years 8 years or 9 years he finally sends me a message one day okay online and uh, hey hi how are you and all that i was more like well, this guy is an idiot he wants to market his services and then he tells me that uh, hi loy uh, uh, can i just talk to you please you know need need some time i you know for me i'm running a business i'm not here into friends told me you want to talk to me these are my rates he actually asked me for 15 minutes of my time i told him what are my rates after he booked for 15 minutes fine spoke uh, i said yeah so tell me what do you want and that is where he told me loy whatever you told i should have listened to you and finally i just want to tell you you're right so i said what happened you know because it came as a surprise i thought he wanted to sell me a course or you know some partnership or some bullshit which he was giving me apparently this coach consultant think everybody was against him his mother father brother sister everybody told him stop what nonsense are you doing you're not a coach you're not a consultant who's going to take advice you know he went into this motivational bullshit that people give oh put 10 videos a day put this a day put posts a day and you can do it believe in yourself seven figure income fake it till you make it he said um, initially there was a little bit of jazz but finally realized it was not sustainable he ended up in debt he borrowed money took a card uh, then you know borrowed sorry uh, took from somebody else's card and then he had to pay money and all that and finally he ended up with his parents bailing him out because he was nearly going to be put in jail and now he's in india and he has started from scratch his dubai dream is over he's back to being a technician is back to being you know phone guy and technician now he's getting paid even more less than before sadly he lost 8 years of his life now why am i sharing this with you look i'm not going to tell you that you can't achieve your dreams you can't succeed yeah maybe you can who am i to tell you that you can't but the possibility and probability of you having a successful career by successful i mean you are able to sustain and survive and live a comfortable life will be very 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 hard okay don't get carried away with what people are doing jake paul oprah winfrey forget all of them they are not you you are not them see if you want to get into the social media world no and you want to start earning your own money first have a job where you can work and do this as a side business and during the side business see how much money you're making if you can start earning more money from your side business than what your actual regular uh, work is paying you then it's time for you to jump ship but if it is not please 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 don't take the plunge don't say i will risk it all balls to wall you know put my back against the wall and do or die you will die and die is okay if you die it's death but here you don't die you will still be alive and you'll have bills to pay you'll have loans to pay and you'll be a mess he has wasted 8 years of his life you could say maybe he learned a lesson 
but it's a very expensive lesson. He, eight years of his life are not going to come back or nine years, whatever. Now this boy who has a father who really loves him, ready to pay everything for him, ready to take care of his career. He's going to gamble all that to become a social media star. You might say, oh no, why doesn't his father? No, because his, his father's money, the father can choose what he wants to do with it. If he starts pumping millions and this guy ends up nowhere, then what do you do, man? And remember this, what comes easy goes easy. There are so many YouTubers and so many social media people who uh, get things easy, but then they lose interest. Why, why am I so consistent? Because to create this baby that you see, this brand that I've made online, brick by brick, step by step, it was very, very hard, very painful, it took me a long time. And that's why I keep it real, you know, guys, I, I keep it real. That's why I tell people, you're not going to earn a seven-figure income you know, easily. You're not going to be a millionaire. You're not going to be rich. You have to bust your balls, man. It's not going to come. I really feel so sad and sorry for these youngsters who are you know, literally gambling their life. Anyway, I have a lot more stuff that I want to share. I, I will share with you in another video. But this is what I wanted to share with you in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think what I'm saying is making sense? Is not being... Uh, this galaxy thing is so irritating. Okay, sorry. So let me know if it is making sense, not making sense. And what do you think? What would you advise for a person like Satish? Like, what would you advise for a young man like this guy? His father is ready to sponsor him any country in the world. Anything. But he's ready to gamble it all for social media fame. I don't know. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you. I'll make another video where I'll share with you the addictions of social media. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is me signing off. You guys take care.